So I've had a few questions about the gray water system that I have installed at my house. And uh, it's something I want to share with you. If you're doing new construction, there's no reason why you shouldn't do a gray water system. I'm now watering uh, seven or eight fruit trees in my backyard right now. And the hose never goes on. It's all gray water. So check this out. There's a lid here. And underneath the lid, we've got uh, a pump set up into a basin. And what you see here is basically the dirt that's been dug away. And I lined it with chicken wire and uh, some long nails into the dirt itself and then just stuccoed it with, uh, you know, basically mortar and chicken wire to kind of hold the dirt in place, make a little cave. But what you see down here is a blue standard poly 55 gallon drum. And I'm just gonna move the lid aside. But before I do that, I wanna show you this couple valves that we have involved. Two valves. We've got a uh, setup here with the gray water coming out of the house. These are the gray water pipes. It's plumbed separately from the toilet and the kitchen sink. Toilet and kitchen sink are over here. Those are the clean outs for toilet and kitchen sink. So the gray water actually joins up with the sewer. You can see here, okay? I have a series of valves that allow for redundancy so there won't be any overflow. And you don't want your gray water to overflow because then you have basically sewage in your yard. Uh, not good. But these valves allow for um, redundancy so that it doesn't leak into the yard. What we have here, this T here, is actually a flapper valve, which is a one-way valve that allows this tank to drain should the pump ever fail. I'm gonna open it up here so you can see what it looks like. So what we have here are a couple of valves. These red valves allow me to turn it off. If we're getting too much water, as in monsoon season, backyard's getting too wet, I can throw those two valves and that actually diverts all the gray water into the sewer. This first valve here that you can see has a basket on the end of it, and that's just a filter basket that I have to catch stuff that comes out of the drain. Okay, in case uh, you know you, something goes down the drain that you don't want to get caught in your pump. A lot of hair and stuff comes out of the uh, the gray water. Uh, it's important to put gray water right on the uh, the soil whenever possible because the dirt in the soil remediates the bacteria that's in the gray water itself, so it doesn't smell. If you end up having gray water that's stored in a tank for any period of time, you got smelly sewage and we don't want that. So we're gonna put it right from the tank into the backyard. What happens here is in this surge tank, which is just designed to hold a surge of water, um, gets immediately pumped to the backyard with a, with a pump that's set up there. And I'll have a demonstration of what that looks like when it's pumping in just a minute. Um, but you'll, you can see that the gray water comes into this tank, it's immediately pumped into the backyard with this pipe here. And this is just a piece of PEX that's connected directly to the pump. This PEX is just flexible pipe. And then it goes out into uh, a manifold in the backyard. And I'm gonna show you how that works here in the backyard in just a minute. So the water line just runs to a basic hose bit here that I put a manifold on. And this is just your basic four-way manifold. This allows me to control where the water goes from uh, a series of valves. So if a, a system of trees is getting too much water, I can turn that off, I can turn another one on. So it does require me to maintain kind of a sight line on what tree is getting watered and what tree needs water and what's dry and what's not. So these are simply just turned on and off. The important piece to remember is you gotta always keep one on because if you turn off all the valves to your pump, you're gonna blow out your pump because it gets back pressured. So one valve has to be kept on at all times. And uh, that's basically how this system works. So what we see here is the water flowing from the house into the surge tank and being pumped to the backyard. You can see the pump in the backside of the surge tank there. And it is being pumped, in this case, to the grapefruit tree uh, right onto the soil. Remember, when you pump gray water onto dirt, the dirt acts like a remediation medium for the junk, the other bacteria that's in your gray water, so it doesn't smell. If you store gray water, you're gonna have a smelly mess. Uh, we're using really good quality soaps uh, kind of the hippie soaps, if you will, that don't have a lot of chemicals in them. Uh, and that way it doesn't hurt the tree. And once in a while, I'll flush the gray water system with fresh water. You'll want to keep the end of the poly tube open. So don't use drippers on there because they will clog. Uh, on this example here, I've got just a little hose bib attachment thing that allows me to control the flow on the end of the poly tube a little bit. But again, it's not uh, apt to clog very easily. So that's 
going to be uh, just to control the flow. Um, in another case here, I did use uh, just the dripper lines off of a poly tube onto this peach tree. I ran a bunch of them. And those are, again, kept open. I didn't put the pressure regulating uh, emitters on there because they will clog. Even these poly tubes may clog, in which case I could just cut them off and replace them if I needed to. So I'm really happy with the way this gray water system has been performing over the last nine months. I don't have to turn the hose on and all my trees are getting recycled water.